Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Moonlighter. Um, I don't know why it... Ooh, game. Let me... Oh yeah, I forgot I played. Whoopsie! I know. Hards recommended. Alright, this video is starting off a little funky because I haven't recorded a video in a while. But hello everyone, today we are playing Moonlighter. Among the stars of the night, there is a land of old. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called them dungeons, strange, ever-changing ruins of an unknown land. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeon. The name was R Rhinoc? Huh? I don't know. I don't know names. Among the sellers, two groups shine brightest, heroes and merchants. Glory and riches. But the dungeon proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth floor of the dungeons. Oh. So yeah, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is like a dungeon crawling, top keep rogue like. I'm really excited. So I'm just, I'm just, honestly, my plan. I'm just gonna play through this game, upload every probably. This will probably be every Saturday. So if you do enjoy this, you can look forward to on Saturdays. You know, another let's play, another episode of this coming out. Weave, weave. We ah. I didn't expect to immediately die, but thank you, Riot. I thought I had to like swing my broom at that thing. Uh weave. Oh wait, now I now I need to use oh so many free potions. The potions have break. Take potion from breakable items. Healthcare system. Achievement unlocked. I did not mean to use my health potion there, but whatever. Uh, uh, quick move all. Yoink. They're coming out of the woodwork for me. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Weave, 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 weave. Oh, fuck. Oh, weave, 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 weave. Oh, fuck. Oh, nah, they got me in my foam, Spider Man. Oh, that looks really goopy. Chat, don't get any ideas. It's not for you. What a sigh looking kid. I wonder if it is on my size. All alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. Why'd this old man just like find me and like, I don't know, try to rob me? Who is this old man? I haven't played this game in a long time. I played it a little bit when I was when I game first came out. But I've never beaten it. And I was like, I need content. And this is an excuse to make content and play this game. If you're not a fan of the game, well sucks to suck, I guess. But if you do enjoy this kind of content in this game, consider leaving a like and subscribing. I'm gonna try to upload a lot more often now, so well, this guy's There is no doubt you carry the same session as old Pete. Who's old Pete? What'd you do to him? Morning, boy. Did you hear a little merchant? Did our little merchant bite up more than he could manage? Uh, I need to slow down. I remember that's a problem. I read a little too quickly. Will, listen to me. The hard truth is, I need to. This voice is not old enough. You are the last of your family. No, that's not. That's not it. 
Mmm. Nah, fuck. How do I want to do this one? I'm gonna, like, hunch my back more. Yeah. You're the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on the fifth... This fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get into the dungeon. And fuck... Crater... Crater's sake. Stop using the broom of yours, you draft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Did you really just hit me with dangerous to go alone? Take this. It's mine back in the day. Use it. I have a little need for it now. Oh, items. Yes. Give them to me. Why is it floating so fucking slowly? Now get up. You're wasting light. Can't have you neglecting the shop all day. Fuck you. Let's see if I can get through the head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Huh. I don't want to hear about your relationship with my grandfather, old man. Maybe I do. I don't know. Let me get to my shop. Uh, these, this price is too high. Oh. Oh. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge. Two things. You must know item value as well as demand. Oh, fuck. Don't worry, guys. My years of business schooling is going to come in handy. Come on. Open the shop up and allow customers in. Fuck you. Can I, like, skip the tutorial? I can't. They're gonna walk over and be like, that's a steal, and then go over to the other one and be like, that's overpriced. Actually, no, $100 is right on the money. Never mind, I'm fucking retarded. Oh, I didn't read that. This item wasn't too expensive for them. Not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expression. That's how you, your grandfather always knew that their prices were fair. No, you bitch. No, you're not gonna like that. We found the optimal price. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned. Let. Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheap prices on your wares. Point is, search higher when something is in high in demand and low in supply. Take care of your merchant's notebook. It should all be information. Have you have gathered a dis and discovered wares and search it? You have gathered and discovered wares and artifacts. Okay. This is my book. I do not care. It would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best set off. You will, you will pick up a more on your own. Restoring the shop to its full full glory. The responsibility falls to you, not I. Senior your blood will. Make us proud. In the meantime... Why don't you try that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and don't use and use that pendant, boy. Boy. Ooh. Oh, I'm going now. These weary bones of mine must rest. How did you exit first and get? How did I? I, you know, not my concern. I got. I keep hearing an old rumor around town about the dungeon. That maybe uh, particular artifacts are easier to find at night. Crazy. Alright. Alright, time to prove my merit here. Time to prove why I'm better. Right. First dungeon exploration of the day. Of the series. Yippee! I'm fucking terrible. <laughs> ah. Got him. Ooh. Good loot, good loot. Man. I do got some potions on me. I don't want to waste them early. Weave, weave. Weave, weave. No stamina is crazy. Ah, how did that hit me, you sack of shit? Give me the slime. It does feel very like fluid. This this game has oh hello there. Random loot. Let me in the tent. Random I did not mean to use a potion there. I keep forgetting that fucking E is heal. 
To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took an injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out though, I'd say I fared better than he. Caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. He dropped a couple of items when he fled. One of which is this map. Diagram? Whatever it is, I was right. And they called me crazy. Said, oh, Pete Dungon lost his marbles. But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to the giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be more around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door. These dungeons are not what they seem. Oh. Big boss gonna kill me. I supposed to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuff. Ah, oh, big boss gonna be upset with little me. Ah, right, so yeah. Basic roguelike. Defeat all bosses. Go. Oh, loot. Yes. I do not care about leaving. I ha need more loot. Oh no, it's forcing me. Okay, thank you, Riot. It's fine. We got we got a decent amount of decent amount of stuff today. We can sell some of this good good. Make that bank. Oh, it's so fucking gooey. Yeah. I hate how gooey it is. Ah, the young, the young property here of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. I learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that chart of the dungeons? Where did you get that? You, you found old Pete. Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need for the Golem dungeon, and look for them, and look after the Moonlighter. Now, I know some uh, posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in. Attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup cap. Fucking these. Would be nice to see uh, some new life in your town. Nice indeed. God damn it! It's just like fucking Stardew Valley all over again. These people can't do anything without me. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm not going there right now. For now. I'm gonna set up my shop a little. We're gonna set this to like 125. One oh no 125. That should be good. And we'll sell that. Probably sell these. How much should we sell these? Let's try selling these for like a hundred a piece. These ancient pots should sell nicely. I'll sell these ancient pots. I'll put everything for a hundred for now. I want to keep my steel, my rich jelly. I want to keep a lot of this stuff because these are good for crafting. So I want to keep all that. Those can all be sold, but these I want to keep in my chest. I can oh, it's just probably this. All right. Gonna take a snooze. I'll probably open up my shop and um, go back to the dungeon. We'll probably do one full dungeon exploration and then we'll call it a video. I know it's cringe to say, but I, I the Mr. YouTube's you know, has got me by the nuts here, is telling me that I gotta remind you guys to uh, hit the funny subscribe button. Oh my god, I'm great at this game. Easy money. Uh, 125 is too expensive. Uh, 124 to be exact. Right, let's set it to like 110. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. Guys, I didn't look this up beforehand. I'm telling you. It's all luck of the draw. Are you guys gonna buy my crystals or am I gonna have to kick you out of my goddamn shop? Why are all those people in here? I sell one product. Excellent. We're closed! Get the fuck out!
right, now, now time for my real job. Actually, let's go check that bulletin board now that I have a little bit of capital. All right. Can get the blacksmith and the potion. Right, I definitely want the potion seller. Take my goddamn money. Because I do feel like potions are a little bit important. Now, let's go talk to them. They seem like they're interesting. I don't know. Also, who is that builder? I've never seen that man a day in my life. Also, who are you? Have you found any new culture artifacts in the dungeon, Will? I always found it fascinating how all the items we find in the dungeon appear to be from entirely different civilizations with unique cultures. I sold. I found a pot and I sold it. Oh, a customer. My apologies, just, this book is so good. Okay, yes. I'm Marius Weaver and Potion Master. A Weaver and Potion Master. Come to the wooden hat when you need potions or enchantments. What do you, I want potions. I want, ooh, potions. I could just like buy them, but like, no, and I got, There we go. Got five potions. We ready to go. Oh, it's windy today. Alright. Yeah, this is the Golem Dungeon. Golem Dungeon. Available for heroes and merchants. What dungeon is this? Wait. This is Desert Dungeon. We have the Tech Dungeon. No entry. <laughs> Forest dungeon. Dungeon available to heroes. Not recommended for merchants. So it goes... This one. This one. Forest. And then tech. And then big door. Got it. Man. Well. Leave your ideas and just any... You know, leave questions you have for me down in the comments. I can use these videos as Q&A videos as well, sometimes as well. Ah, I'm terrible. Weave. Not just... Try to explain some game features that I remember. I do remember that like, artifacts occasionally have like curses, I'll call them, like this, where basically they can only go certain places in my bag, as well as if I die, basically anything that's in my bag down here is lost forever. The stuff up here I get to keep, so it's uh, better for me not to die. Why did I change my bro? What? No. What? Why? Why? Right? Why? Oh, there we go. It's a Z. I see. Oh. Ooh. Money, money. Money, money, money. <laughs> what the fuck? Let me read the book. Let me get knowledge. Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. They are discovered not far from my, the city. A small and incredibly charming village just north of Crater. And they were quite a unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. These dungeons seem to build themselves around the one entering. A unique maze for each person, never the same labyrinth twice. One may ask though, if no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Now these, these are the questions. Many right now are flooding to the dungeons for their treasure, completely disregarding the inherent danger of the hostile creatures inside, just for some gold, some fame. But not I, no. It's all about the questions for me. Where did these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with unseen treasures? I'm not here for the what. I'm here for the how and the why. Me too, homie. Me too. Well, not me too, but like, me too in real life. I want to I wanna figure out the lore of this world. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> fuck that. We don't. We don't fuck with random bits of goo we see. No, no, no. No siree. I guess I'll go this way. Oh. Ah. Oh, son of a bitch. They trying to catch me lacking. Nope. Oh, got him. Weave. Ooh, more materials for po You ain't got those. I did not mean to come back in here. I reset them. Oh. Alright, this might cost me some life, but I saw something over here. Oh? Oh, I see. I've made grave mistakes. I've made grave mistakes. I'm fucking dead, holy shit, I'm terrible at this game. I hit play again, didn't I? Fuck, I want to go back. No. No. I want to leave. Game, please let me leave. It won't let me leave. It's imprisoned to me here. Well, we've learned our lesson. Don't fuck with random portals. Or random obelisks. Can I leave now? I cannot. Why can I not leave? I don't have enough money to leave. I see. I'm too broke. I fell into a pit. And I just want out of this dungeon. <laughs> oh. And I don't think I have the ability to sell things like on the spot yet. It's looking a little dicey. Oh, healing pool. Scrub a dub dub. I'm just gonna take a fully closed bath real quick. Why? What do key tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stones are left untouched. But rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Weird. Oh, boss time. Why did it switch me to the broom? Weave. Ah. Holy shit, that was easy as fuck. And here I was thinking that would have been a tough fight, but I like... I shit on him. I'm just better. This is one of those strange devices that creatures drop when they he fled. This one's... Uh, one's rich, actually. Almost quite literally rich. For item you place into this device, gold of some uh, perceived value drops out. It's great if you need to use your pendant in a pinch. The device looks like a mirror, so... I'm just gonna call it the mirror. Keeping it simple. I do wonder, though. 
Where do the treasures dropped inside go? And am I getting the best deal here? The answer is probably not. But I can sell shit I don't need. Such as, but not exclusively to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I need the fuck out of here. I got loot. I mean, let's pot sell for like 100. I'm gonna. No, not this. I'm gonna. No. I'm gonna sell those broken swords. And then I'm gonna skedaddle the fuck out of here. I know. I feel like this wasn't bad for episode one. Get me out of the goo. Let me place not the fabric. Give me that bag. There we go. So when tomorrow comes, I'm for next episode, I'm all ready to go. I can all go in there. Got some nice storage going. And I'll go to sleep. But that'll be all for this episode. So, thank you all so much for joining me on episode one of Moonlighter. If you guys did enjoy this and want to see more, like I said, this will be a weekly upload every Saturday. You can expect this around noon. And if you do enjoy it and want to see more content, check out things down below. There will probably be something popping up here eventually, showing videos recommended for you by me. You're welcome. But yeah, consider subscribing and leaving a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.